Hi everyone. Hope this finds you healthy and happy. And happy new year to everyone. Um, hopefully this will get up uh, um, on YouTube before New Year's. <laughs> Never know with me. Um, I trust everyone had a, a happy and blessed Christmas and um, I, I know that I did and um, I'm just grateful for all of God's wonderful blessings. And uh, I'm coming on tonight because I was watching a couple people and got extremely inspired as always but this time I actually had a chance to act on it <laughs> I had some have some time to do some crafting um, just for me and so I'm excited to um, to do a couple of projects this um, contraption that you see here <laughs> um, was inspired I was watching um, Stacy over at Pink Poodle Crafts. Hi Stacy. Um, so glad that you are feeling better um, and so glad that you're back doing videos again. Um, Stacy has been uh, very ill and um, so she was um, un unable to do videos or do much of anything for several months and so um, it's just really good to have her back uh, and if you don't know Stacy from Pink Poodle Crafts go over there and um, subscribe to her she was doing a video um, and she was talking about uh, um, being economical or um, just scrapbook or using st um, watercolor markers Crayola markers for um, ink for your stamps and in the process of doing that and showing us how you do that she was using her misty tool and um, I've been wanting one of those for like ever and um, she happened to mention that there um, were a lot of videos out there um, on people that have made their own misty tool um, a homemade one um, so to speak and so I went on um, YouTube and kind of looked around and I found a, a, as Stacy had promised there was a bunch of videos on there about um, people making different um, making misty t tools or they're something uh, close to that and um, so I decided I was going to give it a try <laughs> so this is what I've come up with this is a little clipboard that I just had you know laying around it's been laying around forever this is a little metal Trivet. Um, I, I think you can see the fruit on <laughs> on the back of it here yet. Um, I'm going to finish covering um, the back of it uh, with something. Um, this is some scotch like um, decorative packing tape and it's not real strong so I don't know if I'm going to go on and finish it with that or what I'm going to do but then um, I found at the dollar store this uh, on the inside here is a well, let me just show you um, it's it was a um, a day planner thing yeah a day planner thing and it's magnetized on the back and you just like I guess put it up on your refrigerator or whatever and you know you could write your you know stuff down for your you know your weekly planner or whatever but um, since it was magnetized on the back I cut it so that it would fit into my trivet and um, I uh, have got it so that this the little uh, clip at the top here holds the trivet in place um, and you can kind of you know make sure that it's lined up down at the bottom there were lines already on the 
little day planner thing and I added some <clears throat> uh, vertical uh, lines to it. The, there were horizontal lines but I added some vertical lines to it and um, then this is a piece of acetate that I've had in my stash um, for ever. Um, it's kind of thick acetate. Let me just show you here. It's it's kind of a nice weight. Um, it's flexible, but it's kind of sturdy. So I'm thinking that it will work for this. Um, I'm hoping so anyway. Um, I used some E6000 to, you know, strengthen this, this, this tape. And what is under here is a little piece, here it is, is a little piece of, um, I don't know what you call this stuff. <laughs> it's a vinyl, um, a faux vinyl, faux leather um, fabric, and it's got like a, um, can you see it? It's got like sort of like a felt background to, or uh, backing on it like, and it's, but it's nice and sturdy, really sturdy. Um, so I use that for my hinge underneath here um, I put it underneath here uh, with some e6000 and like I said it's it's still actually trying to dry I um, I strengthened this uh, tape which is some tape I got on sale it's scotch expressions something or other a packing packing packaging tape but it it's pretty, but it's um, kind of on the thin side. Um, here's a little piece I can show you, and it it does it does tear easy. I think it's like for when you want to send happy mail out or something, and um, and uh, you want to make your envelopes really pretty, and it would be super good for that. And I wanted to decorate this a little bit so I don't know how this is going to hold up um, like I said I did strengthen it underneath there with some e6000 I've got the I've got this um, glued on there really relatively well um, but I I don't know how long this tape is going to hold up and what I have on the inside of my acetate can you see that Okay, yeah, what I have on the inside of my acetate here is um, actual duct tape, um, the, the heavy duty, heavy duty stuff, the actual duct tape, which I'm almost out of, I need to get some more, anyway, <laughs> excuse me, so, um, that's kind of where I'm at. Um, any any of you who know what a misty is, you can kind of see where this is going. Um, this is uh, the the maiden voyage, <laughs> if you want to call it that, um, of this little thing, and um, that I'm trying here. And what um, what I have the most trouble with when I'm stamping, uh, um, oh, I forgot to get some inks out. <clears throat> what I have the most trouble with when I'm stamping anything um, for me is getting, pardon the noise, is getting the sentiments on um, the card. You, you all know or most of you know that I'm new at card making and, okay, where are my inks? Um, um, at any rate, that's what I have the most trouble with, is getting the sentiments on straight or on to, you know, where, here they are, sorry about that guys, where I want to put them and get them on halfway decent um, and have them stamp, you know, most of the time what happens to me is, I'll stamp something down and it'll be in the right spot and it'll be, you know, but it won't, the stamp, it won't, won't be complete. Like, 
like if it has if there's an image you know part of it will be missing or part of it will be too light or something of that nature and and then you know you can't you can't stamp it again because if you try to do that you're going to end up with a mess <laughs> so um you know like I hate a double you know it looks like you're dizzy when you're looking <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm not making any sense, but anyway, you know what I mean. So I'm going to give this a try. I've got some scrap um, card here, and um, I'm just going to kind of put it down here. Um, I got some little magnets when I went out today to um, to use to hold the paper in place, um, and it goes to the magnet to magnetized um, what you call it uh, the metal down here really well so it does hold the paper in place um, really uh, good and the magnets will stick up here to the little clip whenever I'm not using them or when they're in the way or whatever I'm going to cut this down a little bit so that we can so that I can actually see if it works just going to cut a piece here of card. It's just a little piece of green, minty green card. Okay, so supposing um, this was, you know, so, so I can line it up to my <clears throat> to my lines that are on the little that are on the little base here. Put the magnets on to hold it. And I guess get my sentiment in place. Um, get my sentiment in place, which uh, I'm going to put it, say I want to put it right here in the middle. This I know is upside down for you all, but it says praise the Lord for all his glory. And I'm going to just, you know, line it up, you know, where I think I want to put it like right in the middle of that little square and then what what you do is you just bring your your lid over your top over pick up your stamp and flip it back over and then the, the trick or the um, the theory is is that you can ink this up which I'm doing with this pretty blue, isn't that pretty? Um, it's called Color Crush Pigment Ink. It's from, where's this from? This is from AC Moore, and it's not expensive. <laughs> I don't know if it, um, and then, you know, the acetate you can wipe off if you get extra ink on it or whatever, and then you just bring it over and stamp it down push it down and Karen McClure thank you Karen always says let it hold it a minute to let the ink transfer to the paper which I never knew so thank you Karen for letting me know that she makes lovely cards she's Karen McClure on um, on YouTube go check her out also um, and so okay and then I'm just going to bring it up and that stamped relatively well but you can see like right here it's not as sharp as what it should be so I'm going to try to do what it's supposed to do and that is you know if I'm not happy with that which I'm kind of not um, just go ahead and re-ink and this ink I wish it's it's pigment pigment ink I wish somebody would tell me or help me understand what the difference is because it feels different and acts different than um than like um my um okay so here I go I'm gonna put it back down again 
and I'm gonna see if it works. <laughs> and hopefully it does. Okay, now that should be pretty good. Wow. Not bad at all. It looks like it may have moved very, 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 very minimally. I'm going to turn it around so you can actually see. But it, it stamped pretty well. Um, I think there's a glare over here too. Sorry about that. Um, there. So anyway, I, I think it stamped fairly well. So I'm going to try another one. Try something else and see what I what happens. Um, I mean, I, <clears throat> I Misty uh, tools are awesome. And as um, Stacy over at Pink Poodle Crafts was saying, they are, um, she loves her Misty. Um, and, you know, just thinks it's amazing. But, um, she, you know, realizes that they're, they're pretty, uh, pretty pricey. And they actually are, um, way more than what I can afford. <laughs> so, um, I'm going to go ahead and use a flourish, um, from this same, same little stamp set that I, have and I'm gonna put my flourish up here see if I can get that to fit on there what's wrong with that okay something stuck on there okay I'm gonna see if I can put the flourish up around here like that um, so I'm just gonna fold this over and pick up the stamp and this will be able to will be able to see too if it if it's actually puts it back down you know where it's supposed to be and so forth and so forth. Um, let's pick out something else. <clears throat> this is kind of pretty. This is um, this is just called Ink It Up. Sorry about the glare. Um, it's pigment ink also. So, I don't know, but it doesn't feel at all like that other other kind. It's really different than the other kind as far as the texture of it and whatnot goes. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know my inks enough to know the difference. <laughs> so, um, maybe somebody can educate me as far as what, you know, what makes them different like that. Okay, so I inked that up. I don't know if you could see or not. You probably, I don't know. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and fold it over and close the lid and see what happens. Okay. And lift it up, and it's got a, you know, a fairly nice impression there of the little flourish. Um, but again, I'm going to um, re-ink it and see if I can get it in the same spot. Um, some folks were using a... Um, a picture frame from Ikea um, and I, I didn't check to see how long ago the, the these videos were from so I don't even know if that's still available or if you can get that or anything like that but it was a it was um, a whole thing with a hinge and the whole nine yards it was um, really uh, really nicely done and really um, elaborate uh, it, and it would it would be you know really really great um, if you 
did tons and tons and tons of stamping and things like that but basically I just wanted something that was okay here we go well see this has got kind of a ghost a ghost thing around it so something is is moving or shifting and I'm not sure what it is or um, how I'm going to be able to remedy that I don't know um, I'm going to have to give myself some kind of a mark or some kind of a, a guideline or something you know for when I close the the lid down over it to go by maybe that'll help I don't know but anyway so but for a flourish it's okay I mean if you know if it were the lettering that would be not good because it would look you know all fuzzy um so anyhow well that's kind of my little misty that I made I'm 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 will you know continue to work with it a little bit and if I can perfect it in any way or whatever I will let you guys know what I did to it and the other thing that I wanted to um to tell you about or whatever is um our sweet Betsy Doodle um has been just going crazy making um some really cool accordion style um envelope accordion style envelope um uh like a for storage for storing um different different things and she's been she's been using um all different sorts of envelopes and whatnot and i found five of these um heavier craft envelopes that um that I want to go ahead and make one of those out of um, and I, do, I only have five of them so I don't know how it's going to work but I might go ahead and try to add some more um, add some other ones that are a little bit smaller and see what that does I mean I don't know if it's gonna work or not but um, because D uh, had all hers all, all the same size and she showed how to make hers and and the last thing that she did was she um, and, and I'll put the link to her video and also to um, to Stacy's at pink poodle crafts down below but she what she did the last thing she did was she put a she used um, a piece of wallpaper for her binding for the around the envelopes after you you just kind of put them together and then they make you know an accordion type um, type container uh, storage whatever <laughs> whatever you want to say uh, folder like for um, to put all kinds of your small papers and whatnot in um, and the last thing like I said she did was she put she used wallpaper to bind it around um, to put to, around it sort of like so I got a, just a piece of scrap here but you know she you, you bind it around and then make make a lid make a lid for it and everything of course this would be the, the all the right length but anyway um, I'm really probably being very confusing but anyway long story short she made she um, used all the same size envelopes and I am going to have to try to do mine with having five of these and then some smaller ones so I don't know if that's gonna work D but I'm gonna give it a shot um, because I don't have any other envelopes and I couldn't find any more of this size um, today when I was out that I did find um, some uh, at one store but they wanted 20 some dollars for a box of a hundred of them and I certainly wasn't going to do that so anyway long story short I'm going to try to make an accordion um, folder also like what Dee's been making so I will link her um, her um, a video to the to this to the in the description box also and um, I'm 
it, I'll see how long this is. Oh, it's not too bad. What I'll do then is I might try to come back um, and add to this uh, this video and um, as I go along with my envelopes. But um, and I may I may try to see what I can do with my with my little. Um, my version of the little misty here and see if there's a way that I can can get it so that it doesn't uh, scoot on me or so that there's some way that I can um, know when I'm putting it back down where to put it down to um, every time so that I don't get a, a shadow on my stamping. Um, and if I figure that out I'll come back and add on to this and um, and show you guys uh, what I've been doing. So thanks a lot, and I'll see you in a minute. Bye. Okay, I'm back just quickly. I um, I think I may have figured out the combination to my little um, uh, DIY, um, what do you call these, <laughs> positioner. Um, stamp positioner tool. Um, I uh, am going to try it here and see if what I'm thinking will work will actually work if I try to do a double stamp. Um, I did do one and it, um, it, it double stamped for me just fine. Um, that's this one right here. Um, and you can see there's no ghost um, print to it or whatever. I, I did do it double and it just came out perfectly. So let's try it again with this one and see if I've got the combination. And also um, I will come back because I had said I was going to work with um, and try to make an accordion, a, a little accordion folder for uh, out of envelopes um, like uh, Betsy Doodle D was doing and I didn't have enough envelopes I didn't think. Um, went right over to my little cupboard and found a whole box of them. Yay! So I have plenty I'm going to try and get that done and I will come back with that. Oh, this worked. Well, I got a tiny, tiny little bit of ghost over on the one side. Um, you can see I got a tiny little bit of ghost print over here. Um, right over here by the on the U. Um, so I don't know I mean it's obviously not perfect but then you know what <laughs> um, I think it's gonna help and for you know making it for almost nothing um, I spent a dollar on the on the the day planner thing that you were supposed to put on your refrigerator that this part back underneath here I had my metal trivet sitting around forever and I think I spent <clears throat> three dollars on a on pack of magnets um, that um, you know that I have here and and I had the, the little clipboard also so Hey, you know, for for a, f a few dollars, I you know, I I guess I can um, you know work with it a little bit more and see if I can't get it get it down pat a little bit better um, or figure out. I know it has to, has to do with the hinge, and it's probably because this is a curve here and not straight. Um, you know why it's not exactly folding over perfectly but you know what um, hey uh, like I said for just a few few dollars I think that it you know it'll serve its purpose <laughs> so 
All right, um, let me come back and, um, oh, I was going to show you that I have had found my envelopes. Yay! So let me come back and work on that project a little bit, and um, I'll be back in a minute. Thanks!